Hello everyone and welcome to Spirituality Sundays on Sunday the 11th of September 2022. Today is Tarot Card of the Week. The deck I'll be using today is the Royal Tarot. The focus is on Aftermath. So let's choose a card and see. The Empress reversed, major event, major arcana card in the upright position. She represents fertility, fruitfulness, bountiful. In the upright, sorry, in the reversed position, as shown, those aspects are drained away. Infertility, non-production. Let's see what the book says. It's also interesting because today, 9-11, is the anniversary of 9-11, the event. And of course, with that event, that still resonates worldwide. Reversed Empress. Baron. Major event. Major arcana. The Empress. This is a card of creativity, fertility and abundance since creativity comes in many forms. The Empress can describe the birth of a cherished child or the dawning of an idea that will bring tremendous emotional satisfaction if the question concerns a romantic relationship. This card suggests that it will be happy and fulfilling it may lead to marriage or some other form of emotional commitment. This card may also refer to a house move, especially if it will bring you closer contact within nature, perhaps through a beautiful garden or a rural setting. In the words of the 20th century American mythologist Joseph Campbell, the Empress is telling you to follow your bliss. The Empress reversed aftermath and again with today being such a significant moment in history, does this represent the aftermath of such a event? I can't convey with words so I'm sure you have your own thoughts and feelings so when it comes to your own situation perhaps you are directly linked with that particular day in history perhaps not even if you take away from that event and come to today in the modern times for now 2022 the reversed empress are you going through things we're all going through things but does this particularly apply to you because life is empty are you thinking there's absolutely no way that I will ever get out of this situation because each way I turn, I am blocked? Perhaps, maybe, but how can you turn that on its head to deal with the aftermath of this situation? Are you blocked because you need to be blocked? That doesn't take away from your situation, but is something making you step back? pause, think and say perhaps it's not meant to be happening at this moment in time because could it concern childbirth, fertility, infertility, a house move, something to do with creativity, creation? Are you trying to do something, a project and every time you try and do something you're blocked? You run into a brick wall, you're banging your head against a brick wall. Perhaps then it's leaving you pause for thought. I'll leave a further description and I'll also leave you with a thought of the day. In the aftermath, we are because they were. Please hold that thought. Leave a comment 
and take care.